and moved into the temple to find huge statues of every one of the pharaohs, including the first and second dynasties. A rare find. Very little is known. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are inside this temple, right? Egyptian temple at the top of Mount Sinai. I'm not amazing. kidding. There's amazing. a temple at the top of Mount Sinai. It's That's amazing. Right. That's right. And come here, dingo guy. Right. Come here. I'm right Look, here. This says that the first few pharaohs, which people don't know much about. This is amazing. They don't know what happened to them. They were taken into a field of what, look, it's called Mufkat. Mufkat? Yes. Look, this white powder laying around right. everywhere. So that fine. is Mufkat. Okay, it's me, Mufkat, also known as Shimana, or better known as the Sorcerer's Stone. Mufkat is known to science as the most broken down state of monatomic elements. It is also the foundations of nanotechnology. Mufkat is actual gold powder. But it's not gold dust, it's a white powder, actually changed by a process known only to science, and apparently some Egyptian priests. Mufkat has enlightening properties for the mind, anti-gravity properties for materials, and is going to revolutionize science and technology in the future. Mark my words, Mufkat. Egyptians knew about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, those of you just tuning in, we're in a temple at the top of Mount Sinai. It's amazing. Sinai Peninsula in Egypt. Amazing. It's amazing. We found a bunch of Shimana everywhere. And the hieroglyphs on the walls here show that the pharaohs held Shimana or Mufkat right. in highest regard. They would eat cakes made of Shimana, and it would give them enlightening properties. And this would explain why gold is still so valuable to this day. It's amazing. Gold isn't the rarest material. No. It's not the prettiest or the no. strongest but it may hold the keys to eternal life, and that's what we're seeing here in this amazing temple. Maybe, but it also holds the future of technology. Right. And its anti-gravity properties, now only being rediscovered by scientists, might be how the ancients built the giant monoliths. It says right. right here on the wall. They built the monoliths with the powers of Mufkat. Wow. The that's ancients. amazing. The secrets were known in the past. The ancients knew more about science and the world than we even do now. Oh, well, yeah. Wow. That's what these hieroglyphs say. That's how they built the pyramids, was with Mufkat technology. Wow. They floated these giant stones. Wow, look at this. What a revelation, mate. What does wow. it say? Just look at it, silly. This isn't a temple. Right. This is a workshop. This is where they made Mufkat for the pharaohs. Right. Wow. So the ancients, they didn't worship their gods. No. Nope. They worked for them. Yeah. They worked for their they gods. They worked for the gods. Wow. That's it. That's why they cared about gold. That's why they cared about wow. Egypt, Summer, Guatemala, Peru, Mexico, because the gold and the resources in those areas. Crocky. They made humans from the primitive hominoids because the primitives evolved to live here and deal with our atmosphere. Crocky. They came here to mine gold and to make shamana and to probably get the hell out of here as fast as they could. It's amazing, mate. Yeah, wow. I agree. What this has been so had. great. But there's so many questions left. Where'd they Wrong. go? Where'd they come from in the first place? Why'd they leave? Right. Could they leave in charge? Have they ever been back? Are we going to have to be their slaves again in the future? Right. It's crazy. Looks like we'll have to keep searching the mysterious globe. Yeah. Ooh, good job. That's good placement for the show's title. Right. Good job. Thanks, mate. We had traveled all over the world, from the Grand Canyon to Iraq to India to Australia to South America to Egypt and then to Mount Sinai, the birthplace of mainstream religion. All to find out that odds were we were created by aliens way back in our history. But if that's true, who are the gods of the aliens? Who created the aliens and taught them their technology? Our journey here today was amazing. We want to thank Eric von Daniken. We recommend you buy all his books and videos. We especially want to thank you, the listener, for joining us on our trip around the world to discover the evidence of ancient astronauts. For all of us here, a mysterious globe. I'm the Dingo Hunter. We'll see you next week.